all of the cloud of witnesses that I have met and experienced carry no negative memories of the past. Now, that doesn't mean that their memory is removed from the past, but all the negatives associated with memories are, so there are no negatives associated with it. So I've talked to, let's say, Jacob about things that happened in his life, and he described some of the things that happened in his life, but in no sense was there any negative. It was on the forgiveness, reconciliation side of things that God has brought him into a reconciled relationship. So, and I've talked to a number of the cloud of witnesses and they don't seem to have any sense of regret, negative emotions, because all those emotions are dealt with when they first em are embraced by the father and then their scroll is dealt with. Now, th there are regrets. When I engaged the scroll, initially the first impact was, here's all the things you've done with mixed motives. So all the things you've done, which were the things I asked you to do, but you had a mixed motive in there and you use some of those things for self-validation or whatever they might have been. And then there were also all the things that he asked me to do that I never even heard him ask because I was not paying attention or not listening or not able to listen for whatever reason. And he just loved me. There was no sense where there was any condemnation or guilt or shame attached to any of it. Just the fire of his love purified that from me. So then I didn't have to think about any negatives in the past whatsoever. Now, I believe we can go to the judgment seat whenever you want to, I guess, but whenever I felt led to go, first of all, I was led there and taken there by the spirit of the fear of the Lord, actually, one of the seven spirits of God, <coughs> who <coughs> opened that realm up to me and gave me a scroll, my scroll of, of my life, and then I took it in there. And that was first time back in probably 2010. So I had encounters with it. Um, but the key is the power of God's love is an overcoming love and no one can be separated from the love of God. But the passion and fire of God's love for those who don't know him can be linked to the negatives that are associated with hell and torment and everything else. So when I've engaged people who are still in that realm, their souls are still there their understanding of it still might be that they're stuck there forever that's why we need to preach the good news that they can be free from that realm uh, at any time they choose to accept jesus and enter in through the door that he's opened for them into the father so hopefully that will give gives you a little bit of my perspective of course you're totally free to have a different view um, i know these are different from the things we've been taught and particularly our understanding of revelation and things like that you know, from a futurist perspective, are very deeply set within our psyche quite often. And the whole things of hell as well are, are quite deeply set within the psyche, not just of believers or Christians, but actually with the world. Because um, that's that whole teaching has really sort of pervaded most of culture that they may not believe in a hell, but they know that what hell is about from the teaching perspective of the church is eternal conscious torment and punishment. Um, now that isn't the case and um, now if we can present to them the good news that god is love that, that god's love is for them that god loves them and they just don't know it yet that changes the whole way we share the good news and it becomes good news rather than somewhat of a threat to try and get people to accept jesus um, which is not not a good motive at all and God would much rather people receive his love and then enter into a love relationship in which they reciprocate that. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.